Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be going over the July monthly scripture plan, and it's going to be on freedom. So welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I am turning the page so that you can see what I put into the front. I just have Pray Without Seizing. And then you remember this cover, right? And then I have Read the Bible. I had this, I think, and no, I think I put it on TikTok. I need to put it on Instagram, and I'm showing it to you here. I don't remember where I found this from. If I can link it, I will. Or, you know, if I remember where I found it from. Um, this is the Help Us Serve You Better. So these are, you know, ways that, you know, we could serve the Lord better. Reading the Bible, Bible study, Bible reading plan, uh, read devotionals, word study, inductive Bible study, Greek slash Hebrew studies, sermon prep, small group prep, journaling, note taking, audio Bibles, search for verses, read theologic, theologically, theology. You know what I'm talking about. Books. <laughs> and read Christian living books. Compare translations. Uh, learn how to study and read commentaries. A theologian? So it's like theologic. You know what I'm trying to get at, right? Okay. And then I just put a sticker down here. It says, I, as I have loved you. As I have loved you, love one another. John can see it. 1334, and then this is uh, the wrong, wrong paper from the Happy Planner. So that is, that's who was on there. And I don't think I have anything in the back. And then I showed you these already. And then the next thing is, so I have another one so I can do a different one. So this is going to be the July one, and we'll get into that. I have this top divider. It doesn't completely go, you know, fit, but that's fine with me as long as, you know, I can see it. And it turns to the page. So this whole section, this beginning, is going to be scripture writing plan. So again, we're working on freedom. I didn't write read, write, pray, and reflect, or soap study. So just so you know, I didn't really completely finish it. So let's go ahead and I wanted a cute sticker for that. I don't think it'll work. But anyway, so we're going to read, write, pray, and reflect. And... Substudy scripture, observation, application, and prayer. So as we're going through for the monthly plan, we have Galatians 5, 8, Romans 8, 1 through 2, John 8, 32, John 8, 36. So you're going to see a lot of John. You're going to see some Psalms, a um, couple of Colossians, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians. You'll see a lot of Galatians. Uh, John 8, 32, 8, 36. That's why I just said like that. 2 Corinthians 3.17. Then if you come over here, you'll see 3.4.120. I wrote so big, I didn't have enough room. And then we're going to come back. Galatians 5.1, 5.13, 3.22, 3.27. I'm not doing it in order. I'm just showing you like how many Galatians are in there. 3.26, 4.12, and so on. So if you want to screenshot this, you're more than welcome to. And I didn't get it from anybody. You know, I went online and typed in freedom, and this is what came up. Not online, I'm sorry. The Version Bible app, and this is what came up. So I didn't, you know, go into anybody's thing and be like, okay, let's see what they have going on. No, I did this on my own. Because I think it's best that we do, you know, our own studies. Look for our own, you know, scriptures that I'm working on. So I'm just giving you a second to screenshot that. Okay, you got that? This over here just says plan. I just have like a little tab just to take me to where I need to go. And then when you turn the page, which I'm so behind on June's devotionals, I only picked four so far. Because that's 17, 18, 19, 21. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. So this will take us to the 26th, maybe the 27th. So I figured we have days, you know, where we can take off of devotionals. Because we do a lot of devotionals. 
So, Freedom in Christ by Charles Stanley. I love listening to Charles Stanley. Even though he's passed away, it's still good to listen to him. Like, it really is. And then that's a 10-day devotional. And then number two is Freedom in Christ, which sounds the same, right? By Words of Hope. So, when my tablet is up and running, uh, probably later, I will probably come back on to do that. I'm trying to read something. So, I think I want to put a sticker. And so, number two is Freedom in Christ by Words of Hope. Seven day devotional, and then freedom in Christ, a four day devotional, and then walk in freedom, a five day devotional. Let me see if it's charged because I haven't charged it like I don't know for days. Usually, I'm on my tablet like every single day. I have so many tablets. Oh, it is charged. Okay, we can go right into it then. Okay, let me just get my password going. All right, let me move this out of the way. I get distracted with that stuff. All right, so I'm going to just put this, oh, watching the, oh, I got to see that, okay. Someone's got a video of Quiet Time, let me just save this, save to watch later, okay. So someone's got a video of Quiet Time in their Bible tote bag, so I wanted to see that. And have you seen the season, uh, season... For episode 7 of The Chosen. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. I thought I clicked into it. Okay. One second. I am so sorry. Usually I'm prepared. I just got bad news today that is so ridiculous and so depressing. And I'm just, like, tired. Like, I'm really just tired. Come on. Stop strong. Okay, there you go. So, Missouri, how are they going to see this? Okay, let me just take this piece of paper off. Put it up here. Put this here. So you can see both. There we go. So if you're not familiar with the tablet and how the tablet looks, well, I know you're familiar with tablets, but I'm talking about in the Version Bible app. There's... The settings on this side instead of on the bottom. Because on the phone, mine is on the bottom. On the tablet, mine is on the side. Okay, so I'm going to go not to here because this is going to bring you here. This will bring you to the Bible. And this will take you, which is the third one, to what we're going to be working on. I am working on right now to do Eden. I started it yesterday. I got into the Chosen. Like, oh, I was all in it. And I didn't get to read the verses for Eden to Eternity. So if you're in the Version app and you want to follow along with me, you can just do that one. All right. So you're going to be looking for, and I don't remember if we ever did Freedom, but I figured why not do it again? Because, you know, the four Freedom, Freedom in Christ, we have our freedom, right? So that's why I chose this because, you know, we have the freedom with Christ. Freedom in Christ, I should say. So this is the first one, Freedom in Christ. So you're going to click it. How beautiful is that? And I didn't show that I already had it, so that's why I was like, it's showing that I'm late. I'm really not. It's going to always show I'm late until the day that I'm actually doing it, which is July 1st. I should have set it for July, but I don't know how it stays. Because sometimes when I try to do that, it doesn't work. I talk fast. I know that. Okay. So... Freedom in Christ by Charles Stanley, Charles F. Stanley. It's a 10-day devotional, so it's going to be like you're ending it in July 1st, which you're really not. And so I'll show you how it looks. So freedom, the freedom Jesus promises. Okay, you have scripture. And then with this promise in my heart, I began applying to my life the principles of true freedom. And then he goes on. Okay. So there's that. So there's that one. Simple, easy, you know. It doesn't have to be simple, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's a nice one. Truth sets us free. That would be day two. And it's not much. So it's not going to take you a long time to do the devotional. I'm telling that to myself, honestly. 
maximum freedom is day three, and so on. So until you get to day ten. So that's that one. So it's completely saved. It's in my, well, not mine, but in the U version app that, you know, I'm on, I guess you could say. So number two is Freedom in Christ by Words of Hope, which is this one. Freedom in Christ and then Words of Hope. So again, it looks like we're on day three because every, this whole thing was done in one day. As I was looking for it. So, devotional, we're going to click on. It says, what is freedom? So now it's getting into what is freedom. If the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Verse 36, okay? So when they're saying verse 36 is because we're going to be reading John 8, 34 through 38. And I do want to change my Bible really quick. So after this, I'm going to change my Bible so that we can get a different version. Of you know, I want to get a different version of what I'm always reading. I don't want to stick to just the NIV. I think I'm going to go NLT or ESV. I don't know what it was. It's one of the famous, not famous, I was already really, one of the ones that a lot of people use, I should say. And then day two is guilty and confused. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy. Verse 19. And then it's Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. Okay. So there's that one. So that's true. And that was a seven day. So now we're going to go into freedom of Christ, which is a four day. How cute is that? Oh, it reminds me of my grandson's. So, and it's only four days. Look at that. Devotional. Jesus frees you from death. Talking to God. Thank God that he sent his son, Jesus, so that you can spend eternity with him. Diving in, preparing some paper, writing utensils, and coloring surprise, surprise supplies for each member of the family. Together, talk about the promises of heaven. And then going deeper talking to each other. So it's like a group thing with your family if you choose to. Or you can just, like me, talk to myself and do it on my own. So that's day one. Day two is devotional. Talk to God. Thank God that he promises to always be with you. Ask God to help you trust him. So that you can be free from the burden of fear, diving in, gather a stack of books, choose a family member to stand with arms extended while others load books onto your arms. So this is like a little thing to do. And then going deeper, okay, fear, fears are like the books you carry, okay, and then talk, talking to each other, how does it make you feel and know God wants to give you peace and freedom from fear. And then the other two questions. So then that's that one. So the fourth one. And then we'll get into this last one. Walk in freedom. Which is a five day devotional. How pretty is that? And it's by Crown. I didn't write it. But it says Crown. So the first day it's going to go into devotional. And, and then Genesis. So walk in freedom. And it says because... Because God is the author of truth. His principles for stewardship are true for everyone. Explore his word and apply it to your life as you answer these five questions. Okay? Who am I? And you're going to see them here. Where am I from? Why am I here? How many times do we ask ourselves this? Why am I here? Like, why? Who am I from? Who am I? Where am I from? Not who am I from. Where am I from? Why am I here? What do I have? And how do I use what I have? You will experience life that is truly life. 1 Timothy 6, 19. As you walk in freedom. So who am I? And it's going to go into it. And then you're going to pray. So it's going to tell you who you are. Okay, so it's got questions too. I love when it has questions. Do you ever feel like a failure? Do you often compare yourself to others and conclude that you don't measure up? Today's verse reveals that no matter 
how we mistakenly view ourselves. We are created in God's image. And then what we think doesn't change this truth. What we think doesn't change this truth. Okay, I said it wrong. God made us in his likeliness and created us to be like him. Oh, it's so good. I already get chills. Okay, so that's uh, day one. And then day two is the devotional is where am I from? So you remember there was the five questions, right? So who am I? Where am I from? So a sign in a front of a small North Georgia church offered a message. And it goes into the story. And then it ends with prayer. So then day three, I'll show you day three as well. Since they think I'm on day three already. Why am I here? God has designed a plan and purpose for each person he creates. One question that can be helpful is discerning his plan for you. Is what frustrates you about the world? Often what frustrates you about the world is what God is calling you to fix. You've probably heard of Florence Nightingale. Yeah, as a teenager, she realized her calling in life to be a nurse. And then it goes into the story. Oh, I like that. And then another prayer. And so that is the scripture writing plan and devotionals. So now we're going to click out of here and we're going to go into the first one. I hope you can see all this. Eden to Eternity. A Year of the Bible with Daily Grace Chronological Plan. Okay. I don't know who's messaging me, but I'm busy. So number one, oh well, day one. See how I did the, how I did the devotional. I still have to do Genesis one, two, and three. So if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. So I'll just show you what the devotional looks like. So I wrote all of this down to answer. Before you begin reading, pause for a moment to pray that God will help you know Him more. Today than yesterday. As you read today's chapters, consider these questions. And there's, I think, five, no, four questions. <coughs> Excuse me. What attributes of God's character are, character are revealed in this passage? So you're going to be reading Genesis 1, 2, and 3. And then consider places. And it's telling you how, like, not telling you, but helping you understand, like, how to dig deeper so consider places where the text directly states the character of god as well as how his character is revealed through his word and actions how often oh, what are you reading how does the passage point to jesus and then it says consider how the passage reveals the problems of sin and forgiveness of sin offered through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. What do I learn? What do I learn about myself in light of who God is? And then it goes on, you know, saying more. And then after you complete today's scripture reading, consider listening to the corresponding podcast episode of A Year in the Bible with Daily Grace for further insight. Okay, so there's that one. And then if you go into two. So you're going to be reading 4, 5, 6, and 7. They're not big. They're, I mean, what's it going to take you? Probably about 20 minutes after you do the devotional. The devotional is not that much because you're going to have to read first in order to do the devotional, right? Because you've got questions. What attributes... Did I do the same one? No, day two. Okay. What attributes of God's character are revealed in this passage? How does the passage point to Jesus? How should... I don't know. How should the truth of this patch, uh, passage change me? And then so on. So I have this up already. So if you're, you know, wanting to do it with me, that's fine. I'd be, you know, love to see you guys on here. I don't know if we can see each other on here. I think we can by, like, I don't really scroll in here or, like, look around. Oh, friends, right here. So I don't want to like show all the friends because I don't know if they want to be shown. But you just, friend request me. You see that right here, the M and then my name. And that's how you find me. And then if you're looking for a verse of the day, which I love to do, is there or on the first page right here. And then you can scroll here or scroll like if I'm scrolling. 
see past days. So it'll take you straight to here anyway. So if you go here, go here, verse of the day, it'll take you straight there. And then you can image it as well. And pick an image you like. And then what I do is I take this image and I send it to Facebook. I copy this image and I send it to Instagram. So that's how I just do it. And I'm going to actually do that today. So I just saved it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you. And I will be doing the scripture writing plan in a few minutes. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.